What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, something a little bit different. This is a Esheen ET5, and it's a little functional water-cooled um, gasoline engine or petrol if you're in the UK. Now, it's labeled as a Stirling engine. It's not a Stirling engine. Stirling engines do not work like this. It's also not a hit and miss engine. You'd have seen quite a few hit and miss engines on um, various channels. This is actually, to what I can see, pretty much a conventional gasoline engine. It's got spark plug there, you've got your flywheels there, carburetor on there, exhaust, water goes in there and a fuel tank uh, from what I can see. And then on this side, it looks like this is the um, operation of your valves. So when the flywheel turns, these are going up and down, uh, acting as the exhaust and uh, intake valves. I mean, unless someone wants to correct me in the comments, I'm pretty sure this is just a normal engine that looks like maybe a Sterling or one of the hit and miss uh, engines. Anyway, regardless of that, it looks awesome. It comes mounted on this wooden plaque. It's powered by a just a double A battery under there for your ignition. In the box, you get a little uh, pull start, and you also get a little adapter for. Uh, the flywheel there, which is an easier way um, of starting it. You get some instructions there on how to start it. Little code there gets you to the Esheen website. There's a few more details on there. It's 2.6 cc. The cylinder diameter is 13 millimeters, um, and it's got a 12 millimeter stroke. Now, uh, it tells you to use. Says use says use gasoline 95 octane now that's pretty standard for the uk i know elsewhere it's not put my fuel here in a little syringe really easy to uh put it in these are really cheap as well and uh make sure you get blunt needles and then another one for my water i don't know how much it takes but should be able to uh see when it gets full although i'm not sure this syringe will fill it all the way up that's probably enough for now. I can't really see in there, but oh, hang on. Stick it all in. So that's the fuel. And then the water goes in this one. Definitely going to need more water. Bit more water. Right, I reckon that'll do. Now, it doesn't say anywhere about um, lubrication, as in oil. Let's put the cap back on the fuel. I believe that... There's a little hole there. I reckon you put some um, oil in there. This is where the crank could be under there and your um, main bearings and stuff. So I believe that's probably where you put some. We're only going to start it up briefly today, so I'll do a little bit more investigation into looking at that because there's no real um, instructions or nothing I've found online that will tell you how to do it. But we'll look at that. And I think that's where you put the oil anyway. I'm not using this to start it because it's just going to be a pain. I'll get my drill and I'll show you how it goes. Hopefully it will start. I have had it running, although only very briefly to make sure it works. Yeah. You, have to, so you have to turn it clockwise and you have to prime it first. So it has been sat for a little while. So ignition off, we'll get it primed. So just hold the carb and spin it around a few times with the ignition off. Like that. Switch the ignition on. You've got a little adjustment screw there for your fuel, and then this is your carb. I've got it fully shut. Oh, nearly. Let's turn that screw out a little bit. There we go. adjustment on the screw there and we're running and 
No, come on. So a little fuel adjustment like needle there and then your throttle it's probably going to take a little bit of fiddling about to get it running properly i'm going to keep so i'm going to get it running so it's actually idling um pretty well and then we'll get it outside and i'll get some uh, cool little shots of it and try and get some decent slow-mo of it and see what that looks like So that's it for this video. I've taken it off the mount because I'm trying to work out what we're going to put it in. Uh, do you think it'll go in that? I'm not sure. Uh, it's it's probably got enough torque. It definitely hasn't got enough RPM to go in there. Uh, if I do that with that, is that enough for a, uh, a clickbait thumbnail? I don't know. Um, it's not going in this. I'm just trying to work out the size of it. I reckon definitely one tenth, maybe one eighth. I'm not sure. Um, uh, I've got a really good plan for this if we can pull it off. I say we because it's not me that's going to be doing most of the work. Um, I'm sending this off to someone and we're going to see if we can make some kind of cool uh, tractor stroke steampunk machine uh, with this thing. Anyway, cheers for watching. It's going to take a little bit of time to uh, try and get this mounted in something and get it running. Obviously, we need to do maybe like a belt drive or maybe a chain drive or something like that. Um, link for this in the description. I'll see you next time. Thank you.